About 20 million cars today are driving around with check engine lights on. A large percentage is EVAP codes caused by leaks which can be fixed easily with a smoke probe. These repairs bring big profits to your business. Some of the most common trouble codes confronting technicians today are related to a leaking condition in the EVAP or fuel vapor recovery system. Until now these leaks have been difficult at best to locate and repair. Let's go over how easy it is to locate these troublesome EVAP leaks with the Smoke Pro. First, locate the EVAP service port. Most 96 and newer cars have one, and it usually has a green cap. Remove the Schrader valve using the tool provided. Note that the Schrader valve has left-hand threads and must be turned clockwise to remove. If the vehicle does not have a service port, it may be necessary to remove the vent line to the gas tank at the charcoal canister. Another way is to tee into the evaporative emission line at or near the purge valve without bypassing the purge valve. Next, install the service port adapter provided and insert the smoke pros nozzle into the short hose leading from the service port adapter. We're now ready to begin testing the evap system. If the vehicle is equipped with a vent solenoid that's normally open, it is necessary to close this solenoid using your scan tool before pressurizing the evap system. Sometimes it is also possible to pinch or plug the lines near the vents to seal the system. With the Smoke Pro connected to the vehicle's battery and a compressed air source, simply open the flow control valve and watch the pressure increase on the pressure gauge. Take a look at the flow meter to see if air is flowing through the system. Remember a leak rate of 0.10 liters per minute equals about a 0.020 leak. A leak rate of 0.5 liters per minute equals about a .040 leak. To verify these flow readings, close the flow control valve and look at the pressure gauge. If the pressure in the system is decreasing, a leak exists and we will now find it with smoke. Be sure that the smoke pro is connected to a fully charged battery. To produce smoke, press the silver button on the front of the machine. Smoke pro will produce smoke for five minutes or until the button is pushed again, stopping the smoke producing cycle. While the system is being filled with smoke, remove the fuel cap and wait until thick smoke is visible exiting the fuel neck. You may need to depress the flapper valve inside the fuel neck to get good flow. Now reinstall the fuel cap and look for the smoke exiting the leak source. If smoke does not exit the fuel neck in a minute or two, access the EVAP system through the vent line to the gas tank at the charcoal canister. The bright halogen lamp provided will illuminate the exiting smoke making it much easier to see. Follow the flow path associated with the EVAP system until the leak source is located. Once the leak is located and repaired, recheck the system to verify that the repair has solved the problem. Do a quick pressure decay test using air only to confirm. If the needle doesn't drop, you can verify the system is airtight and fixed properly. Remove the service port adapter and reinstall the Schrader valve and protective cap.